So we just intubated your patient, your arm's getting tired from bagging, we gotta put them on a vent, right? For this scenario, let's use a perfectly normal patient who was just intubated for airway protection. They don't need any special respiratory settings, okay? First things first, we gotta find that ideal body weight. How do we find that? All right, so for males, you're gonna take 50. For females, you're gonna take 45.5. Then we're gonna use their height. So for this one, let's just go 5'10", right? So it's height over five feet. So 5'10 would be 10, right? We're gonna multiply that by 2.3. That'll give us 23. And then we're gonna add it back to the male female thing. So either 50 or 45.5, our guy's a male. So we're gonna do 73. So 50 plus 23, 73, all right. So we've inputted 73 right here. Now let's choose a mode. Let's go up here. For simplicity's sake, we're gonna do this uh, CMV plus, which is just volume control, okay? We'll get into the modes a little bit later. Next thing we need to know, what's our volume gonna be? What's our tidal volume? How do we get that? So. For simplicity's sake, we're gonna take six times our ideal body weight, okay? And technically it's a range. So you could take anywhere from four to eight and multiply that by your ideal body weight and get where you wanna be. Six is a safe bet, so let's do six. All right, 73 times six is gonna give us somewhere around 430 something. So we'll just put in 440. Next, we gotta determine our rate. Typically, I'll look at what the patient's doing before I intubate them, and then I'll put that rate on there, okay? If they're breathing in the 20s and the 30s, I might go a little higher than if they were just breathing, I don't know, like six or I'm sorry, not six, like 12 times a minute. Okay. 12 times a minute I may just go up to like 14 just to give them a little extra, but anywhere from 12 to 12 to 16, just your normal breath rate should be all right. All right. Next thing you need to know is this peep. So that positive end expiratory pressure, that pressure keeping the alveoli open. Don't go lower than five. Start at five. Five is a great place to start, especially with a patient who doesn't have any respiratory problems. If you just tube them for airway protection, five is going to be your sweet spot. All right, next thing we need to know, FiO2, percentage of oxygen. You just intubated them. Give them 100%. Might as well. They, they earned it, right? So give them 100% and then work your way down over the course of an hour or two, all right, depending on where you are, of course. And look at our beautiful patient. They're breathing great, all right? Let me know if you have any comments in the future. We're going to keep doing ventilator stuff. I really love it, and I think you guys do too, okay? All right, bye.